In this demonstration, I will illustrate how you can convert static images in your websites into fully functional interactive mapping applications. For that, we will use the new ArcGIS.com site, as well as ArcGIS server services. With them, we will compose web maps that we will finally embed into your website. You are probably already familiar with the ArcGIS services directory. It lists all the GIS services running on your server. I'm going to navigate to my Petroleum map service. As you know, you can preview this service right from the services directory. In ArcGIS Server 10, we added yet another option to preview your services. Click on the ArcGIS.com map. In this ArcGIS.com application, you can now very easily author web maps. You can see that your map service is being overlaid on top of a base map. This base map is coming from ArcGIS Online, but you can actually change it. If you go to details, you'll see that you can also control other properties of your web map, such as which layers by default are going to be turned on or off. And you can also manipulate things like the transparency of the services within your web map. Of course, you can add additional layers of information from ArcGIS Online, the web, or your own GIS server. I'm going to navigate to my own ArcGIS server and add one extra service. There you go. I'm going to define the initial extent of my map. And that's about it. We have just composed a nice looking web map. At this point, I can save it. This web map will be stored in my ArcGIS.com profile. Now that my web map has been saved, I could open it in different clients like ArcGIS Desktop, ArcGIS Explorer Online, and so on. But today what we want to do is to embed this web map into an existing site. So I can use this little piece of HTML code to achieve that. Let's go to our site. Just to illustrate the process, I'm going to use a plugin in Firefox, which allows me to inspect the different HTML elements of a website. So you can see that I can click on this element and actually in this bottom part of the screen I can edit dynamically the HTML content. As I type over here the HTML content changes and is reflected in my website. As I said I wanted to replace this static image with an interactive map so I'm going to click on it and edit this HTML content. Now I will basically paste the HTML code that I took from the ArcGIS.com application. And that's that's it, here you go. If you want to adjust a little bit the size, you can always come here and edit the content, in this case to make the map a little bit wider. So this shows how you can easily edit the HTML content of a site and embed a web map. This web map was authored in ArcGIS.com and is displaying your own ArcGIS server services. Everything with very little knowledge of HTML.